So we've looked at how uh, excited atoms can emit photons of light and produce a spectrum uh, of light according to the energy levels which those electrons are jumping, jumping up. Um, now, uh, a chap called J.J. Balmer, I'm sure that's roughly enough how he pronounces his name, he um, <coughs> came up, he analysed the data and came up with this formula here, um, this, this top one that we're looking at here, to um, explain or to link the wavelength with the um, the wavelength of light produced with the level, so, so that's our wavelength, obviously, because it's using lambda, um, to link it with the level, that's these emission uh, spectrum, the, the different energy levels um, that the electrons have jumped up and that um, when they fall back down that they give off the wavelength. So the different, the different energy levels, L, um, <coughs> this, uh, so this formula links it to anyway, and this R is something called the Rydberg constant, um, R-Y-D-B-E-R-G. Rydberg constant, which is 1.097 times 10 to the 7. Um, 1.097 times 10 to the 7. And that's meters. Because you can see wavelength is the only thing... Uh, the, the level numbers don't have any units. And the wavelength has um, units of meters or inverse uh, meters on the left-hand side, if you're considering the whole left-hand side. So the right-hand side has to have the same units. That's why it's per meter um, for the Rydberg constant. So this is just purely a mathematical uh, way of ex uh, linking the wavelength with the energy level. And um, presumably there's uh, links in, uh, I mean you can go to things with frequency of light and, and um, energy levels as a measure of energy itself, since E equals HF and the frequency itself is a, um, related to the wavelength in a proportionality relationship. So um, this, was, this was done using... Uh, visible light. So this was visible light. And what was actually discovered um, by uh, Lyman, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure, I'll just see if I can find his, his name, uh, his first name, or his initials. It's often their initials that only survive these things, but um, <coughs> what, uh, what a chap called Lyman discovered anyway was that this number here um, could be 1. So it could be 1 over 1 squared, which is still 1 anyway, um, and and that was for UV light. So it equals 1 for ultraviolet light. And so once they discovered that, because obviously being in the visible spectrum um, where, when the number equals 2 makes it much easier to discover what's going on. But being ultraviolet, it takes someone a little bit of clever thinking to say, hey, maybe there's something that we can't see, but we can still detect. And so they use um, UV detection methods to, to find out. Um, and, um, yeah, he discovered you could have this value as 1, and it would still work for the ultraviolet uh, spectrum. But <coughs> a few other clever cookies came along, so that was Lyman with that. And there were some other guys, um, Passion, Bracket, and Fund and there's probably many, many, many more, but these guys um, discovered a whole other series, a whole other different series, in the infrared range, infrared, where the uh, the number, the series number, instead of going back to one or staying at two in the visible series, it would go three, four, five, and onwards. Um, and this is all just for hydrogen, remember, linking the wavelength of emitted light with um, with the the series and with the the level the energy level that they've fallen down to now how the series <coughs> the series one uh, fits in with this is <coughs> excuse me is that the uh, let's just draw a quick quick sketch um, of our energy levels again that's our n equals one or or sort of the ground state energy level n equals two. Uh, and then the next one's closer, n equals 3, and the next one's closer, still 4, and so forth, till they're very, very close. Um, so what, what um, this was saying was that Barmer was looking at um, the, 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 the series where that was predominant, predominantly um, overpowered by this, this 2 level, okay? So that's the series number, is the 2 level. Whereas uh, when we went into the infrared, finding the higher energy um, 
uh, photons emitted and high energy wavelengths of light, um, Lyman was dealing with all of the uh, light rays that were dropped down to produce when dropped down to, um, did you hear me call them light rays then? Light waves or photons and that were produced when they dropped down to the n equals 1 level. So that's again the series number. And then all of the ones from here, very small energy, uh, dropping down to 3, 4 and, and all the other successive very narrowly separated levels. Um, those are the, the infrared and, and so that was the UV. Um, so what this formula is doing, linking the wavelength with the energy by the levels that are falling down to and the series uh, based on which energy level they're falling down to. So you get a, a spectrum or a wavelength of light um, that drops from, let's, let's give this a specific example, drops from say uh, energy level 4, um, so this would be level 4, level equals 4, down to um, say we'll make it the, the, the Lyman series where it drops down to a uh, series equal 1. Um, and so you would, your wavelength of light then is, is going to be equal to whatever you plug into that formula but a very specific amount or a specific colour that you would see um, or no this was the UV light so you wouldn't see it um, that's for that energy drop. There is another whole specific different colour um, we'll call it wavelength 2 um, when you drop down from L equals 4 to S, uh, sorry, L equals 3 to S equals 1. So um, you'd, you'd get a different wavelength when you put it in there. So this is giving a very specific link between the wavelength and the series or, or the energy change in the electrons that are falling back down and therefore the wavelength equals HF of light, uh, the frequency of light coming off and the energy of light coming off. And I just want to emphasize one final point, and that's that those, those different series we were looking at, the ultraviolet, the visible, and the various infrared ones, each of them is predominantly dominated by the actual uh, level they're falling down to. Um, and that's because, say if you're falling down to level 1 here, that's got the major energy drop there. And so that's why they all, you know, these, these small drops, they, they don't represent a very large energy change. Um, the energy, the largest, the predominant energy change is from 2 to 1. So that's why this number dominates the series. Um, and uh, they tend to group those spectrums together into one um, different uh, sort of small region. Of, of the uh, spectrum and it's purely because of that large energy drop at that point. Okay I've detailed this long enough, a little bit rambling but hopefully you get the ideas. Feel free to talk about it and uh, ask questions in the forum.